What is the Riemann zeta function? The zeta function is an infinite sum with the argument s being any complex number. We can see that if s equals 2, we get the infinite sum as shown above. Since the zeta function can take complex arguments, it is nice to visualize the zeta function on the complex plane. Surprisingly enough, every negative even number yields zero for the zeta sum. Even more weird is that there exist a lot of zeta zeros when the real number of the argument is positive 0.5. These zeros are called non-trivial and are guaranteed to be greater than zero and less than one. If you want to find zeta zeros, the first thing to ensure is that the series is convergent. Let's take zeta of 2 for example. While it may seem non-trivial, Euler solved this infinite sum and proved that it converges to pi squared over 6. What does this have to do with a circle? Well, that's for a later video. Now most of you, like me, are not going to be able to test an arbitrary complex number to see if the sum converges to zero or not. The good news is that we can just physically simulate the zeta function and then observe with our own eyes when it converges to zero. How the fuck do we physically simulate the zeta function? I'll link the article for this beautiful idea and strongly suggest you to check it out. Via Floquet Engineering, the zeta function was experimentally simulated in a trapped ion qubit. By making the effective Hamiltonian proportional to the zeta function, researchers were able to monitor frozen state dynamics to reveal a zero of the zeta function. H is the Hamiltonian and J is the bare tunneling between two energy levels. Since H is periodic in time, we can naturally represent it via Floquet theory. Omega represents the driving frequency. We can observe changes to the graph when we drive the qubit at different frequencies. When the evolution of the Floquet quasi-states are frozen, we have driven at an argument that is in zero of the zeta function. We can also visualize this on the block sphere. I bet the zeta function still feels so abstract even though we just showed how it can be simulated physically. Well, that's where prime numbers be able to help. The distribution of primes is actually related to the zeta function. We can get into this in a later video, but an expression known as the zeta integral actually shows prime numbers emerging. The blue graph consists of the sums of all non-trivial zeta zeros. As we include more and more zeros, we will actually see the graph in blue. This looks very similar to a step function. What's crazy is that the y value for each step is always a prime number. This is why prime numbers are actually related to the zeta function.